This video is brought to you by Vice Versa with Matt and Ricky, where I'll be partnering with Matt Farrell from Undecided to bring you your weekly news in the world of Tesla electric vehicles and sustainability. So if you haven't already, head over to the link in the description to join us over there and subscribe. In 2018 in the US, gas-powered vehicles accounted for nearly one-fifth of all greenhouse gas emissions. Even EVs and hybrids still require grid connections to recharge. One proposed alternative has been self-charging solar-powered cars. With recent breakthroughs both from newcomers and industry giants, solar-powered EVs might be hitting the road sooner than expected. Every hour, the sun blasts the earth with approximately 430 quintillion joules of energy, more than the entire planet consumes in a whole year. When it comes to sustainable energy, the question is not whether there is enough, but how to effectively capture, store, and use it. Car companies have toyed with the idea of solar vehicles pretty much since the dawn of solar technology. In 1955, gym employee William G. Cobb designed the Sunmobile. This experimental balsa wood car used 12 selenium photovoltaic cells to power its 1.5 volt electric motor. This powerhouse couldn't even reach 12 horsepower. Even though the technology for solar cars has existed for over 60 years, car companies have struggled to find ways to make technology commercially viable. The biggest setback lie in the limited efficiency of current solar cells as well as the overall design of cars themselves. Between 2016 and 2017, Elon Musk suggested that future Tesla models might include optional solar panels. However, Musk quickly shifted gears stating that the least efficient place to put solar is on the car. Instead, Tesla is focused on initiatives like Solar Glass Roof and Tesla Powerwall, creating more energy efficient homes where people can charge their cars and effectively eliminate their carbon footprint. Of course, these initiatives don't help you if you're not at home. Musk's assessment about cars and solar panels isn't wrong. One major roadblock is surface area. Current solar panels are measured in kilowatt hours, with 1 meter by 1 meter panels generating about 1 kilowatt hour of energy per every hour of direct sunlight. However, even the best panels on the market today achieve about 23% efficiency. For the best outcomes, solar panels require large, flat, and stationary surfaces. Your house's roof, for example. Solar panels become increasingly inefficient on smaller, curvy, mobile surfaces, such as the surface of your car. Panels placed on vehicle doors and sidings, for instance, are less likely to receive direct sunlight and are subject to accumulating dirt and suffering damage. If you cover the entire top surface of the Model S in the best commercially available solar panels today, you'd get about 10 square meters or 107 square feet. Working at 100% efficiency, these panels could theoretically make a sizable dent in charging a Model S's 100 kWh battery pack. Assuming you parked in a sunny spot for 5 hours, you could generate a generous 50 kWh of power, about 200 extra miles worth of driving. However, at the more realistic 23% rate, you're looking at just over 2 kW per hour, or about 10% of the total battery charge, buying you roughly 10 or 20 more miles of range. And that's being incredibly optimistic. While that small contribution shouldn't be dismissed, it highlights the current perspective on solar-powered vehicles. For the time being, at best, solar would likely serve as a supplement to traditional EV charge points and not an overall replacement. But that doesn't mean solar cars should be ruled out completely. These assumptions are based on the way cars, batteries, and solar panels themselves are currently designed. However, in recent years, both startups and major manufacturers have introduced some new, potentially game-changing innovations. For the past 30 years, the Australian Outback has served as home for the world solar race. Here, engineers, dreamers, and automakers the world over pit their sun-powered concept cars against one another. While the race largely focuses on single-seat machines, in 2013 a new category, the Cruiser class, was introduced. Competitors entered multi-passenger vehicles, with extra points awarded for practicality. Engineering students from the Technical University of Eindhoven continually emerged victorious with the Stella model vehicles. This group eventually gave birth to the company Lightyear and their ground-breaking consumer class vehicle, Lightyear One. Even as a purely electric vehicle, Lightyear One is a major breakthrough. Their battery is one-third the size of a Tesla Model S, with a stated range of about 700 kilometers or about 430 miles. However, Lightyear One also includes 5 square meters or 16 square feet of a patented double curved solar array on the roof and hood. This array adds 1.25 kWh or about 6.5 miles of range per hour charged, 
Over the course of about five hours, this could add up to about 30 miles of added range. CEO Lex Hulflew stated an estimated yearly total of about 6,200 miles or 10,000 kilometers in his home in the Netherlands, a typically gloomy region. In a more consistently sunny place like California, the annual additional range doubles to about 12,000 miles or 20,000 kilometers. The solar capacity has allowed Lightyear to address some other energy efficiency roadblocks, specifically weight and drag. Solar cells allow for smaller batteries reducing weight and improving overall energy density. But the refinements don't end there. Lightyear 1 uses four independent in-wheel motors which help further reduce weight and increase powertrain efficiency. Its aluminum and carbon fiber body combined with its low, sweeping roof and hood give this sleek, sporty roadster a drag coefficient of nearly 0.2, making it the most aerodynamic vehicle on the market today. The vehicle is more cruiser than powerhouse, accelerating to 0-60 to in 8 seconds, compared to the Model S, which can do it in about 2.5. On top of that, the company plans to introduce Lightyear at a premium price of about $170,000. But if it proves successful, Lightyear hopes to introduce more affordable models down the line. Another company making waves is Sonos Motors, with their consumer-oriented Scion. At a more affordable price point of about $30,000, this five-passenger family wagon is designed for conventional urban use. Scion solar panels are integrated into the polymer-based body of the car itself, produced at the same cost as painted metal. This feature helps bring the total production cost down significantly while also contributing to a unique aesthetic. The 248 solar cells mounted on the roof, hood, and side panels can generate up to 1.2 kilowatt hours, which translates to about 21 miles of range per day. When fully charged, Scion's 35 kilowatt hour battery pack can take you just over 150 miles and tops out at 87 miles per hour. While this range pales in comparison to a Model S, the price point might just be worth it. Scions also include innovative experimental technologies such as bi-directional charging. This would allow panels to feed into other cars or back to the grid. Sonos began producing Scions in July of 2020 and expect to have them available sometime in 2021. Of course, Tesla has not ruled out solar vehicles entirely. As the EV powerhouse prepares to unleash their Cybertruck on the world, Elon Musk has again suggested the possibility of optional solar capabilities. One possible option would be a sliding roof array that covers the trunk's bed. Musk claims this feature could add upwards of 15 extra miles of range daily. But the experimentation doesn't end there. If surface area is one of the biggest roadblocks to solar vehicles, Musk has a potential solution, allowing the truck to produce more surface area. Using a collapsible solar array that folds into the body of the truck like a transformer, Musk asserts that the Cybertruck may be able to achieve up to 40 miles of additional range. In fact, these types of foldable arrays may just be the breakthrough we need to make solar-powered cars a viable reality. A handful of other companies like China's thin film solar company Hanergy and even major manufacturer Toyota have also begun experimenting with integrating solar technology into electric vehicles. Solar car technology is no longer a question of if. Cars with the ability to recharge using the power of the sun are hitting the market as we speak. For the time being, however, solar power will serve more as a supplement than a replacement to standard charging. But just as we've seen electric cars make stratospheric leaps over the last two decades, it may only be a matter of time before self-sustaining solar vehicles become a viable option. So that is a look at if future Tesla models and future EVs in general came with solar panels. I think people are experimenting with it and clearly as you can tell from the fact of efficiency and the amount of available surface area, we're talking like 10 to 30 miles of range per day. But the crazy thing is if you drive about 30 miles a day, that's all you would need. And that's where cars like Lightyear are so interesting. Super ultra efficient plus solar charging. So I charge my Model 3 in my garage and I keep my car in the garage. And the, part of the reason why is because I don't want the paint peeling. I want the interior to be cool and I want my car to last a long time. So if you wanted to have a solar powered car, you'd have to leave it outside which means it's gonna get dirtier more often. You have to clean your panels. There's a whole slew of other considerations, but the reality is what is cooler than driving a car, parking it, walking away, doing your thing, coming back and having it recharged again magically. That's always been kind of the dream of solar power. And with our current innovations and breakthroughs, I really potentially think that in the next 10, 20 years, 
that could entirely be possible. So what do you guys think? Is this kind of a pipe dream or a reality? Would you pay extra to have solar on your car or you think it's better to just put solar on your house and keep your car normal? I'd love to know what you guys think. And also a huge shout out to all of our patrons on Patreon. This show is made possible by your support. And if you wanna be a rock star supporter of this show, consider joining us as a YouTube member or supporting us on Patreon. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, share it on social media. And to see other videos we've done recently, check out this video on quantum computers, the really incredible technology that just might revolutionize how we do clinical studies and large scale experimentation. Or this one on Neuralink, the incredible sci-fi brain implant that Elon Musk is working on.